Okay, welcome back to Daggy's Toy Review. Um, today we are going to do just a quick review um, of this nifty little little toy here from 1984 called Robotics. Um, and of course, you know, they've got all kinds of different uh, connection points, uh, body parts, even comes with a little action figure uh, for the driver which is pretty neat, you know, he's about the same size of a regular G.I. Joe figure uh, from that time period. Um, this particular one is in really great shape um, for all outward appearances. Unfortunately though, I have, you know, kind of pre-tested this and the motors themselves are pretty much seized up. Um, all four of them, which is kind of Kind of crazy they all four shouldn't have just went out pretty much but then again too this thing has been sitting in storage for a long time this part right here should actually move and it doesn't so unfortunately those are shot um the same thing with the box this is pretty much what you would consider to be the main body of this particular toy um on the inside is the battery box um, of course, a battery had busted in this over the years. Uh, I actually have pulled it apart and cleaned it. If I can get it open, I'll show you. Um, and unfortunately, when batteries do bust, they corrode the battery tabs. Now, the one side is in very good shape. I've taken care of all the corrosion on this side. But unfortunately, um it's just not it's just not working um i did a little research online and basically to buy and replace the parts on this particular piece is pretty much more than i really want to spend on uh on this but at the same time though it's a really cool piece to have uh for you know nostalgia reasons uh here in a second, I'll go ahead and um, pull some of it out, assemble one of them, just so you can kind of see what it looks like put together. And, um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're back, and uh, I have went ahead and created my take on um, one of the configurations of this toy, um, which is pretty neat. Um, even without the motors working, this thing is actually pretty cool. I went ahead and set it up exactly the way it was uh, described in the manual. Um, there's a motor in the jaws of the monster. Uh, there's a motor here for the two front legs to drive it. Um, wheels underneath the feet so it will be mobile. And of course the wires with the little guide pieces from the two motors to the control box. And moving this control box back and forth, of course, will open and close and move the feet. Overall, it's a neat little vintage toy. Um, maybe later down the road, you know, I might go ahead and spend the money and get the, uh, the, new, the new motors. Um, but I'm just basically just going to keep it as a nice little display piece. So thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.